first week of class is finished. And let me tell you, it was a reality check because after the summer where I was like sleeping in, working part-time, school year starts and I have to wake up at 5 or 6 a.m. And I had the experience. So, first day, September the 4th. Oh, Jesus. You see that bus? I thought I was gonna like arrive here, but no, it stopped at the stoplight. So... I was trying to like chase it, but now, oh my god, it's here. I'll check back to you guys when I get to SLC. Okay, so despite that rough start, I'm at Ryerson Safe and Sound. I'm past the SLC. I'm now walking to my class. I see the campus store to the right, and then there's a bunch of students who are making their way to their classes, looking at maps. And then, what else did I do? It was very overwhelming. The lectures. Majority of students are not used to university because they're straight off from high school where you're kind of like spoon fed with the information, with the printed sheets. Now, no one's gonna print your sheets. You have to do it by yourself. You have to check D2L. You have to check online. You have to stay on top of your readings because you need to, to understand the concepts, the lectures, and answering questions in the discussion portion during your lecture and be able to participate. And so, it's really so easy to get behind on readings so you gotta like stay on top of it. and what else I had a lot of errands to fulfill all my practice requirement record for nursing had to be filled out by my family doctor had to get my n95 mass fitting test get my immunization all in check and then that's basically my recap of my first week thanks for watching I hope I didn't scare you guys it's just reality I'm still living, I'm so energized still, so despite the readings, despite the overwhelming first week, it's okay, you're gonna live, you're gonna live, you're gonna live, you're gonna live. Alright guys, so I know my road to Ryerson wasn't an easy road trip, definitely there was a lot of bumps in the road, however I know that it's all worth it in the end, and so I'm definitely looking forward for the future because I know Ryerson University has a bunch of of opportunities, resources that I'm excited to use. And my advice to you guys is always have time for yourself, take necessary breaks, and just enjoy the journey. Peace guys.